All right, let's follow the Charlie Publications of South Coast, Alabama. Do a quick video from Mr. Dale Jones, Jason and Dale Jones. Uh, I'm gonna take, bought a 30 by 85 cooker. It is, uh, this cooker will be used for n numerous things. It caters a lot, does a lot of catering. This cooker will also be used to further the kingdom of God. He is a pastor, or if I say a pastor, he, uh, Jason does a ministry thing. He goes out and does a street ministry. So this will be used a lot for that. It'll be used for a lot of other things. He asked me when I pray on this cooker. I have done that. I did it for Craig Fraser, his cooker, and he's done tons of stuff with his life of use and everything else. So Jason asked me to pray on this cooker. I did. And I, I, you know, and I wish it well. I really, really do. I hope he does great things with it. But this is a 30 by 85. This cooker here has been super elevated. Which an elevated cooker is 26 inches tall, has three grades. Uh, this has been super elevated to go to 32 inches tall with four grades, four full grades. We do four four grades in a, in a 26 tall cooker. It's just a light grade doesn't have much have as much room. In it. But this cooker here it'll fit butts on every shelf. So I'm going to show you that right quick. Uh, you can see. Go ahead and open it on up. Way on up. Cooker here. See, got big grates in here. There's his fire poker right there. Uh, gonna, gonna do good. Has drip guards on the doors right here. Has gaskets on the doors also. Uh, Look at here, has a fold down shelf right here. Comes right there. Folds down with a paper towel holder. Goes right back up. Locks. He has a pro pull with that. Boom, boom, boom. So four pro pull. Three, four pro, pro ports together. Has a stainless shelf that comes over the fender or right to the edge of the fender. Has a big black splash out of the way. Any residual comes in, comes right down here, you just wipe it off and get rid of it. Has the dual damper system that we developed. One from the main chamber in, this one here goes from the firebox in. This is a half inch firebox, heavy duty firebox. Uh, has an elevated warmer which has four grates. On these, these are, I think these are on the 30 inch or 40 inch is called an elevated warmer. But they have a, have enough room where you have full restaurant pans, you can get two side by side. Also has pans that comes out, locked, with a grill option in it right here to where he can bring that all the way out, put charcoal in there, he can direct cook, he can cold smoke, he can use it as a warmer, he can use it for numerous things. He can use it as another chamber and put, he can get six butts, so you can get six times four, you can get about 24 butts right here in the warmer. So uh, that, that's pretty cool, I think. You know, and just use your damper system. A lot of people will, uh, has a really tall coop. They stack and draw really well, but a lot of people will draw all the way through the main chamber and draw out both places, and uh, he may do that. So back here on the back, Come on, I'll tell you what, Ray, let's walk around the front. Let's walk around the front. I'll show you on the back side over here. Come around, come around the front right here. It has a heavy duty jack right here. Has a removable tongue. Everything's braced off real good right there. Has a really large wood box, red box, wood box back here. Has an umbrella holder here, here. You can put on umbrella flag or whatever you like to do. Has a spare tire mounted here, easy access to spare. Just get a three quarter wrench. I keep a three quarter wrench, you know, a socket in my truck, it's kind of flat. Boom, it's off and, you know, you can get it off in two minutes or less, easy. Uh, again, has a grease drain right here. One thing, Jason, and I didn't have time to go do it, uh, and I'm gonna leave that up to you, very simple. The way this grease drain came out, it comes right over the, uh, but I ran the tubing all the way back. You need to get you a close nipple, a two inch close nipple, a 45 and another nipple, and just 45 and let the grease, it, it'll offset the grease. So that would be a good idea. It'd be a good thing for you to do. That's what I'd do. I didn't have the uh, 45 and nipples here. I didn't have time to go get them for you. Didn't know, even know if you want them or you can lay a, you can put your bucket, hang a bucket, you know, right there, somehow wired it up there, a pan or whatever. But uh, it would be best to get you a two inch. Remember, it's a close nipple, a two inch 45 and another nipple. And that'll get you off where you need to be. Then, Eight inch stack on this cooker, very, very tall. It's a big cooker, so I want it to draft good. So you're not gonna have any problem, Jason, with it drafting. It's gonna do really, really well. Shane Art has a cooker similar to this, and he'll tell you he loves it end to end. Everything's just even, man, it's great. 
So uh, we feel like we have the reverse flow cooker market. We feel like we are one of the top, the leaders actually in the market. We are, I don't feel like we are, no doubt about it. As you can see, we have tons of cookers fixing lead back there now. We're doing a lot of vertical cookers, uh, doing some vertical cookers. Uh, they're, not, they're uninsulated, but they're really great cookers. Uh, got 36 going on, titles getting into Santa Maria thing. It'll be starting here before long when he goes to the new shop. I know the lighting is hooked up at the new shop and all that. So if people ask, I know the lights are hooked up, getting closer and closer to moving. Once he moves in, there'll be a lot of change going on. But uh, again, <clears throat> thank y'all for your business. Thank you, Jason. You know, you were patient with me. I hope I was patient with you. Got you something I think is going to suit your needs really, really well. Again, like I said, a big stainless chef. Great for cleanup. Everybody knows steel prices have gone extremely high, un unreal, unprecedented. Anything like not anything like I've ever seen in my life. But then there's no Tyler Hicks having to do with the video, so he's getting all, all out of whack. I'm going to get through this video. Thank you. Thank you, Jason, for your business. We're out of here.